Hello there, my name's Matthew and welcome to another video by the MXQ Project. So today I'm going to be showing you how to install the latest LibreLec for the MXQ to install it onto your internal memory on your MXQ box. So first of all we're going to have to dual boot your box because we don't have the option anymore to use zip files to use TWRP or Android Recovery to install it. All we've got is the image files and the tar update files but forget about the tar update because that will be for another video. So all the files we need will be the image files to dual boot your MXQ box using an SD card. And then we're going to use something called SSH and a small program called PuTTY to use a, a very simple command called install to internal. And that what, what that will do is it will take everything from the SD card and place it into your NAND flash on your MXQ box. Now, don't let that put you off because that does actually sound really complicated. If you've never heard of SSH before, don't worry, it's a really simple process. We're not going to delve too far into SSH because it is quite a complex thing and you can do all sorts of stuff with SSH. But all we're going to be covering is install to internal, which is a really simple command and it will take you no less than 10 minutes to actually do this. So make sure you've got a SD card, a computer and of course we need to go and grab a few files and get your MXQ box as well. So let's move on to the first part, which is dual booting your MSQ box. So first thing we need to do, we need to go and grab a few files. So let's go to kzak.librelec.tv forward slash s805. And then go down to 8.0.1a. Now you're going to see a whole load of files here. Now, as I mentioned at the start of the video, there's tar files here. Just ignore those. I shall cover that in another video. The ones we want are the image.gz files. And they're the ones that we're going to burn onto an SD card. So the one I need is a HD18Q. Now the reason I need that is because that is probably one of the most common MXQ boxes that is available. It's the all black one. Now, you may have a B-Link version. Now, if you're unsure what a B-Link one is, it's got like a red stripe and the power button's in the middle. I'll maybe put a picture up just to, just to give you an example. And the M201D is a MX Cube that's shipped with half a gig of RAM. Now, I don't know what box you've got, so it's going to be a case of trying these files and seeing what works. So you might have to repeat yourself through this process a, f a few times, maybe. But the chances are that HD8 and Q will work for you. So download that file. Now you'll notice it's image.gz. That needs unzipped. So what I'll do is, if you haven't got an unzipped tool, I will leave it in the description. So something like 7-zip will work just fine. So you need to unzip it, so you're just left with this file here. So if I go back to the main screen, it should say LibreLec S805 to ARM dash 8.0 dash 8.0.0 dash 8 hd 8 in q dot image so it has to say dot image at the end okay now next thing you need is something called win32 disk imager you can get this from anywhere but if you just want an easy route go to mxq project dot com forward slash files and at the bottom, there's Win32 Disk, and you can just download it there. Now this is just a really small, executable program that you can install onto your Windows PC. So once you've installed that, the next thing you need to do, you need to grab your SD card, pop it into your computer. So, before we continue with the tutorial, I just want to make two points. Okay, the first point is that it's always good practice to format your SD card to FAT32, as shown in this video. The second point is that you need to reverse the process that Win32 Disk is going to have on your SD card. So LibreLex is going to create two partitions, and we need to delete those if we ever want to use our SD card for something else. Or, if the hd 8 q file doesn't work and you want to try the other files that are available, you obviously need to delete that as well. So SD card format is going to do that for you. I'll leave the link in the description. It's a good tool to use in, and install it. So, with that in mind, let's move on with the rest of the tutorial. And then you need to load up Win32 Disk Imager. 
and it should display like this. Now the next thing you need to do, you need to select your SD card. So mine's already pre-selected, but yours might be on a different drive. So mine's on H. And then what I need to do is, I need to select that image file we've just unzipped. So select your folder where it is. So mine is here. Click open, and then what you need to do is, you need to click right, and then click yes to confirm. Now the next thing it's going to do, it's going to burn that image onto your SD card, and it will take a few seconds. So that's it nearly completed. Right successful. Now the next thing we need to do, we need to boot it from the MXQ box. And that will need a TV, and we we'll also need to show you how to actually get the hardware to boot the SD card. So we'll move over to the TV now, where I want to show you how to do that. So the next step, we need to actually boot the SD card from the hardware. So this is quite a simple process. So pop your HDMI cable in. Pop your SD card into the SD card tray. And then you need to find something thin and sharp. And on the back of your box, you've got an AV port. Pop that something thin and sharp in and find a button. Now, sometimes it could be a bit of a pain to actually find, but you may be able to hear that on the camera. Now hold that button in once you've found it. Now grab your power, power supply and then pop it in. Don't do that before, you need to make sure that you're holding the AV button in before you apply the power. Now to go over that again, pop your SD card in. Make sure your HDMI cable is in and of course your TV is on the right channel. Find that button in the AV port, hold it in and then apply power. And what should happen on screen, you should find this. The SD card will start to do its initial boot. Congratulations, you've just installed LibreLeck onto an SD card and successfully booted it from your MXQ SL5. So, you've got two options now. You can just carry on and use it on your SD card and keep your Android system. Or we can move on to the next part where I can show you how to duplicate what's on your SD card onto your internal NAND flash on your MXQ SL5. It's entirely up to you. Dual booting is just as good as running it on your internal memory. But if you've got other plans for your SD card, then this may be useful for you to actually do this. So let's move on and let's install Putty and get this done.
So well done if you've made it this far, there's a lot of information to take in. If you did get stuck, go over the video again or come over to the Facebook group, which is this MXQ project and we can help you over there. There's a ton of really experienced people that can help you out. There's the website mxqproject.com. There's the forum, which I'm really trying to build up at the moment. So please come over there and register and we can maybe make another community over there. And finally, if you like this video, please give me a like. If you dislike it, give me a dislike, that's fine. And we shall see you in the next video.